Happy New Year everyone! Let's start the year with a video of Agnes' first day in school and I'll also be sharing what I've learned and also felt during the first day as a parent. We are getting ready for school, going a bit earlier to see what breakfast is like and for her to ease into the new environment. We are all ready for school! First day! <laughs> we arrived at the childcare, it was systematic, just guiding us to our classroom meeting our form teachers for the first time and they guided us to the eating area where we had our breakfast but Agnes didn't want to eat any because we gave her milk and bread as part of our morning routine and that's fine, remember to give your child some time to adapt so I had to finish her share of food and it tasted exactly like what I had when I was young in kindergarten on the sweeter side, definitely appetizing shortly after, it was playtime and wow, look at Agnes negotiating this obstacle so well it's her first time trying this and she also loves the back of this right? She was there for half the time. So at this point as a parent, I was looking out to see if the environment was safe, whether the equipments are clean, whether there are anything that are spoiled or worn out, and to see how she will interact in this new environment. And thankfully, she is doing so well. After playtime, it was lunch, and teachers guided us back to the eating area. However, Agnes started to wander around, and as parents, we can help to set boundaries, by teaching our children not to enter other people's classroom or any area without permission. No, don't go into people's class, yes. They were served porridge and watermelon after, and at this point I managed to ask a few questions like whether it was common to use a beep. And the answer is no, because they will be changing out to another set of clothes for nap time and also to train their independence to eat cleanly. As you ask more questions, you will understand the rationale and you're also helping other parents out because I do see other parents listening earnestly to the questions and answers. So help everyone out by asking. Also, something happened during the meal. When I left for the toilet, the teachers helped to feed Agnes and she spat out the fish. So when I returned, the teachers asked if Agnes disliked eating fish which I clarified that maybe she needed the fish in a smaller portion or sometimes she needs the fish alone without the porridge or sometimes it just needs to be hidden in the porridge so the way it's being served needs to be varied and she didn't have any problem after that so what I'm trying to share is parents can actually help teachers understand your child better so the day before, I actually texted the teachers of Agnes's eating habits and today, this is a real life case in point and I'm sure the teachers understand Agnes so I hope parents be nurturing to teachers and helping them understand your child better. Then it was time to change to a new set of clothes. So keeping the idea of independence in mind, I passed Agnes the bag of clothes and she carried it like the others and followed them to the toilet. So nap time now and it's similar to lunch, I let the teachers know beforehand that Agnes is a bit energetic so it takes her a while to fall asleep and she really did. This information is very useful to teachers as it helps them understand your child's sleeping routine like how much milk to be served, how long the milk must be and the activities they follow before they can fall asleep. We also noticed that some children drank from packet milk which we realised that that is actually an option and we also forgot to bring a pillow so we'll bring it tomorrow. So half the day has passed and that's all the time we have with her so the main takeaways are to observe whether the new environment is clean and safe and also provide useful information to teachers so that they can understand your child better like the lunch time and nap time example that are shared and why this is important because it helps teachers cater to your child better which in turn reduces stress in your child and this helps your child familiarize with the teachers and the environment better and quicker and you can leave the school knowing that your child is well taken care of so I hope you enjoyed this video of Agnes's first day and also find the things that are shared useful it's never too late to share more information with our teachers, so be more open and proactive and this will go a long way in the parent-teacher partnership. Cheers!